Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to my subscribers and thanks to all of you for the support. I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. You know, say thanks to my subscribers at the beginning of the video as opposed to the end as, as usual. But uh, see what you're looking at there? Austrian radio jockey punished for playing last Christmas 24 times. And that's your six, right? Which is just a nine flipped. That's your 6996. It's the vortex, which is on the north pole of the planet Saturn. It's also the CERN logo. Six is also how the fake Jew Saturn scum write their god Saturn numerically, one five or six, or nine six, which is the same thing as 15, which is the same thing as six. Just saying because it's very suspicious of a number. And a lot of theories going on around there, out there, that um, Christmas could be something. I don't know. Well, that's pretty interesting. And then on top of it, you have uh, New York City has received a credible threat days ahead of Christmas. But update, just minutes after the WPIX report, the WNBC chief executive, or I'm sorry, investigative reporter, Jonathan Dienst, said that there is no new specific threat to New York City. It's very odd. So. You got the full moon, too, right? First time in a long time that that's been on Christmas. Who knows? Who knows? Definitely interesting all the way around. So very curious to see what happens here very, very soon. And then just end it with this, because here we go again with this. Meanwhile in Hawaii, from the fringe for birdie. Once again, the press talking about Obama. Got all this stuff going on, but what's he doing out there golfing? The reason why that is, at least in my opinion, is because... That man's not a president of anything, okay? He's a puppet, he's a mouthpiece, and he goes golfing all the time, like the press always says, instead of handling things, because it's out of his control. This isn't his plan. He's just playing his part. He's an actor playing a role, okay? He already knows what's going to happen. So he's just having fun. It's all he's doing. But I guess time will tell. So very quickly, I might not be posting for a little bit here. I'm in the middle of some, uh, I, I, I started a shit storm yesterday <clears throat> at uh, where I work. And I have turned things upside down and I am about to prove the biblical prophecy that the last will become first and the first will become last. Meaning those on the bottom will be on the top and those on the top will be on the bottom, position wise. You know, managers to workers and the workers to managers. So um, I actually was going to wait a couple months until I did it, but I just, boy, I was just so anxious. I just couldn't hold it in. And yesterday I'm, I'm, yesterday I made a phone call, and <sighs> you know the truth shall, shall set you free, that whole um, <laughs> that speech or that, that line, the truth shall set you free. I cannot wait to make a video here shortly. I, and I don't know how long this is going to take. It may take a month or two, and that's not because I'm putting it off the wheels I've set in motion, how this process continues and what happens, it's not up to me. Now it's up to HR, and um, I don't know how long it's going to take. But uh, I will have single-handedly ruined some people's lives because they had it coming. Not to say this, I'm not bragging. I'm not even really proud of it, to be honest. But like HR told me, you did the right thing. And that was a really good thing to hear. So... I got to take care of all this stuff first, so I might not post as much, but uh, I assure you that I am fine, my wife is fine, everything is going great, and it's going to get even better, and I cannot wait to fill everybody in. So, stay tuned.